Well, our next guest, Robert Dobby, is a very familiar face and name from hundreds of TV and movie roles, also as a columnist, radio host, and a brilliant Sinatra-style recording artist. Now add to his resume director of the new movie, My Son Hunter. Warning, it shows some things that even Hollywood won't show. So that ought to tell you something. Maybe they would if Hunter Biden weren't doing them. Would you please welcome my very brave friend, Robert Dobby. Give him a hand. It is great having you here. I, I told you backstage, next time you come, you're gonna do music because I love when you do Sinatra music. It's absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Now, I wanna be very honest with our TBN audience because you know most of our folks are uh, probably not prone to watch films that have, uh, let's just say very <laughs> blunt language, uh, graphic depictions of everything from drug use to intimate activities. But that is the story of Hunter Biden. So I, I would say to people, this film is not rated. I would rate it RRR, probably, because it, it's, it's his story. Mm -hmm. And it's not a pleasant film to watch. And if mm -hmm. people are sensitive, they probably are not going to enjoy it. But you decided that that story needed to be told. Yeah. Why? Well, I was frustrated at was what we were watching in America in terms of what the media did, uh, burying that particular story, the Hunter Biden laptop story, and also the attacks on uh, the Trump administration, the Russian collusion and everything else. And th there was no one able to, it was so buried, it frustrated me. So when the script came to me, I says, I wanna tell the story. And it's not explicit sexually. It's not that, there's a little bit of, you know, nice little lingerie stuff with the girl and stuff. And you wouldn't show it on Sunday morning in church, I'll put it, yeah. No, I wouldn't, not, yeah. not the whole film. Yeah. You'd have to block out a bunch of those parts. <laughs> But no, it's not, it's not that. But what's important about it is we don't demonize. I don't demonize the drug addiction um, because we're suffering from that in the nation. Sure. We have fentanyl pouring into the nation and everything else. And uh, I've had family members that have had that. I'm sure many people have had that in their lives. And we have to be sensitive to that. And you pray about that. I've done a lot yeah. of research on that over the years. So that's not demonized. The father-son relationship is what I focus yeah. on and how this wounded child was perhaps out of the wanting his father to love him so much and never living up to his brother Bo, was now hitting a crack pipe and going to this Chinese spy chief in China or Burisma in, uh, in, in China or Bucharest or in uh, Ukraine. Uh, so it's, it's uncovering the absolute corruption within that, within that circumstance. There's a a little clip of the movie. Tell us about it, what we're gonna see. Yeah, well, Devin Archer was his best friend, a guy named Devin Archer. And he, uh, I think they were college uh, roommates and stuff, and they were in Burisma together. He even went to, with Joe Biden, telling him about the gasoline stuff, and they were in multiple deals. And Devin Archer, this is an actual text, back and forth. We're just gonna show, I think, the part of Hunter's response, but it's actual their words. Uh, he was telling Hunter, that his family basically left him out to dry, mm. that he didn't get any protection from the family. Devin Arch is in prison right now, but this is the son explaining to him what he should do because he wants him to keep his mouth shut. Mm. All right. Every great family in the United States is persecuted. You, you are part of a great family, not a sideshow, not someone to be abandoned in your darkest moments. The Bidens are different than your Biden. It's the price we pay for power. Mm. Robert, you know, when I saw the film, one of the things that, that I thought you yes. did very brilliantly in, in directing it, it's not so much about Hunter and it's not the illicit things that he did but it really is helping people to understand the relationship with his father mm -hmm. and the father's involvement in Hunter's business. Mm -hmm. And the press doesn't want to talk about that, but that is the story, isn't it? Yes, that's the crux of the story. Also, the collusion of the media against the American people knowing the truth. To me, that's a big indictment because by the end of the film, 
you see where every single news media denied, 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 and denied yeah. until Miranda Devine and the Post said, broke the story. And now you've seen even Jeff Zuckerberg, uh, uh, Zuckerberg has said that uh, he was told by the FBI to squelch the story and it affected the election in our nation. Hillary Clinton said yesterday that there was a MAGA salute that was a Nazi salute. I mean, it's so repulsive to me it that is. they want to demonize, you know, and thank you for what you're doing because I look at him, he looks like a, a Sean Connery with that beard on. <laughs> I'm looking at him. <laughs> and I, I know I played a Bond villain. <laughs> but, well, you're not a villain here. Robert, I want you to know, you'll never be a villain to me and to our audience. And I just want to say, you know, so many people in Hollywood keep it quiet, what they really believe. And you have no idea how much I admire you and respect you because you have put your entire career at risk to be who you are and to speak out, not so much for the, the right side of the political battle, but for the freedom in America to be able to say what one feels. Thank you, my friend. Thank, Thank you. you. You know what? Thank you. I say this. We have people that have given their lives yeah. for our freedoms. If I have to give a career, so be it. Hmm. What a you great perspective. I mean? all I can do. I know you're gonna to wanna to keep up with Robert Dobby, his movies, his music, and we're gonna have him back when he gets a new album out next year, I promise you. If you wanna know how to connect with him, visit Huckabee.tv anytime. We've got all the links right there.